Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video update for Friday, August the 2nd. And we had a crazy day today. Um, if you just look, I've got the S&P up here with some ticks, a tick chart below. Um, this doesn't look too crazy, but if you have not been looking, uh, let me go back out here to a two-day chart. So this was yesterday at 12:30 we were at you know 3 we were basically 30 30 13 and we went all the way to 29 14 so we had a 100 point move again if you haven't seen this um 100 point move from lunch yesterday to you know 10 o'clock this morning um pretty pretty major move there so let's back this up just a little bit more and drill down and show you what happened so this is uh, Wednesday right here and this is at one o'clock Fed meeting Fed announcement uh, we knew uh, from you know last week that or from last several weeks that we were expecting 25 basis point rate cut and that's exactly what we got it apparently was all baked in the market um, we got initial kind of not much going on here and then the press release and we got initial flush down but it came kind of started coming back up and then the next day so this is Thursday started coming back up here and we're all over this skyline here and everything's going great and then this happens and this was the tweet um, I'm sure you saw that um, we're going to increase tariffs on uh, China 10% uh, on some of the things and you know of course the market just really slammed down and then we had you know overnight it continued down and just slammed down here so that's where our 100 point drop came from and you know so that brings us to the question of you know what happens next and um whenever you get so this is the um three day you know three down days in a row uh typically you get follow through on the fourth one and people are starting to get margin calls here, margin calls here, margin calls here. And you have the tendency to get a big um, margin call the next day. And, and in this case, especially it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, then you have margin call Monday. Uh, typically that usually is more apparent when you go out, you know, on a low, like for example, like this, and that did not happen. We really didn't rally, but we really didn't roll over. So that makes the question mark even bigger, you know, as far as what we do. Um, let me back out here. And again, we're still talking about the S&P. So let's go back out here and look, and you can tell it looks, you know, fairly ugly. So, you know, we probably come down to 2,900. That's a big psychological level. And that level really needs to hold there's a skyline there and um, that needs to hold if that breaks that opens up the door for you know maybe some scarier stuff but uh, you know I I don't know well I mean we'll we'll have to you know there's no way to know um, because this is not this is not exactly fundamentally driven this is all tweet and news driven um, I will say this, this is the last time the Fed came, you know, stepped in. The Fed stepped in here and then the Fed stepped in here. Um, so we've been kind of on that sugar high right here. Um, you know, are we going to retrace that much or not? And, you know, no, obviously no one knows. Um, but we do have an, another Fed meeting coming up uh, with probably an assumed, again, another probably at least 25 basis points. Uh, that'll help us. The market just kind of momentarily forgot about that, right? This is actually healthy. It would be nicer, you know, if this, instead of, you know, basically one day or two days, this kind of went like this and gave us time and, you know, before going back up instead of straight down and then hopefully straight back up, you know, we don't know yet. Uh, but at this point, you know, I would next week, you know, I'm, I'm recording this on Friday after the close. So at this point, I would anticipate probably, um, pro unfortunately, probably more selling next week to get us to a level for a pretty sharp bounce, I would suspect. Um, and again, I don't know if that takes a couple of days or a couple of weeks, you know, or whatever, but, um, or even possibly a couple of months until, you know, we get a little bit closer to a Fed meeting. But, um, you know, the one thing is 
for sure that we can count on is that there will be more news, there'll be more tweets, maybe good, maybe bad. So again, this is, you know, we're, we've gone from, um, sort of kind of cruise control just by the dip on the way up from this last um, bottom here where you know where um, Powell stepped in to um, a little more rough water choppy water type thing here because you know again you got to be you got to be light now um, if you are a bias subscriber um, you know that we went flat ahead of the Fed on Wednesday morning went flat I had no position zone so I missed all this um, so it's easy for me to kind of play, look at both sides because I'm not long or short, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I'm, I'm gearing up to do something. I just don't know what yet. And I've, I really feel safe being in cash right now. Uh, but I would look for more downside. And here's the key. Here's the, the kind of the kicker. Depending on what happens on Monday, that will give us a really good indication. It should give us a good indication. Keep an eye on that 2900 level in the SPX uh, to see if that holds. If it does not, um, then I'm going to be looking for could be you know a fair amount lower. Um, I don't think that's a a super high probability. I think we probably come down 2900 and it probably holds and we start making our way back up. That would be if I could write the script. That would be what I would say. Um, but I just it's just so hard to tell right now. Also, we've got the VIX. If you notice the VIX, um, it was up about 19. Uh, up to about 19 this morning it closed at 17.61 so it came off a good bit but um you know we're we're a lot higher in the vix than we were you know a couple of days ago so there is some tension um a lot of people have made a lot of money through here and, and to put one thing in perspective you know this this was 100 points down right well this was 300 points up so this is you know this is kind of scary when it happens in a short period of time but there's nothing crazy about retracing some of this move right so just keep that in mind uh, the other thing too is that um, I am trying to find stocks that are more honey badger type stocks that really aren't paying a lot of attention to the you know to this flush down and kind of focus on those um, they're starting to be a lot of good-looking stocks but I don't think it's a good idea to probably start stepping in and buying things hand over fist just yet until we see uh, a turn in this market. So um, that's what I've got for you today. Um, no actionable idea at this point because we need to be very, watch very closely what happens on uh, Monday, Tuesday, see if we get follow through to the downside or if this was kind of the flush and we're going to start making our way back up. So be very careful and um, trade light and until we get some clarity. And I will see you guys at the next update. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Take care.